All right, in today's video, we're going to be talking about some news regarding the Numskull Quarter Arcade lineup. Now, if you're not familiar with Numskull and their Quarter Arcade line, first of all, as the name suggests, they are a quarter scale arcade cabinet. And second of all, they're pretty freaking awesome. Here is the latest release to date. This is the Bubble Bubble Machine. And as the name suggests, it is a quarter scale of the original full size arcade cabinet has a fully dedicated game on it in this instance bubble bubble and it is fully playable and it's just really great i'm addicted to these things and thankfully we get some new tidbits of information regarding some upcoming releases from the numbskull quarter arcade lineup to talk about Now the information we're going to cover today all really kind of stems from some posts in the official Facebook fan page for the Numskull Quarter Arcades. Now if you're not familiar with it, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the video description box below so you can join it and I highly suggest you do because if you want to have the most up-to-date information, news, updates, anything regarding the Numskull Quarter Arcade lineup, including teasers like we're, we're going to cover today, you definitely want to be in that Facebook group because that's going to be the latest and greatest source for news and information regarding the Quarter Arcade line. So first and foremost, this started back in July with a little teaser from Numskull themselves showing some snippet images as you can see right here. You, it, if you were an eagle-eyed arcade nut like myself, yeah, you're able to decipher some of these, but as the weeks progress, they slowly put out more and more teaser information with these images, allowing you to really break down what we were going to be getting in 2022 as well as 2023. So here is the latest information, the latest teaser image on the left, and for the most part, it's, it's all the cat's out of the bag now. All this stuff is pretty easy to decipher, and I'll break it down for you really quick. So on the left-hand side here, we've got what appears to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic 1989 arcade cabinet. Sure enough, as you look over here, here's an example of a fully restored arcade cabinet. And as you can see, April lines up perfectly with the teaser image. And if you needed any more evidence, here's you know just the side art alone. And as you can see, there's April's elbow, her arm, you got the pizza box, pizza box, everything lines up. So yes, we're getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of my absolute favorite franchises for anything, whether it be video games, toys, collectibles, anything. So yes, we're getting the classic side-scrolling beat-em-up from Konami, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Can't wait for that one. Next over here, we have Space Invaders. Now this really shouldn't be a shock or a surprise to anybody. Uh, Numskull has already came out and said, yes, we're going to be releasing a Space Invaders cabinet. In fact, here's a picture of the prototype. Still haven't got a dead solid release date, but that should be something that they will announce, hopefully, in their official announcement video. So, Space Invaders, we already knew about it, but here's confirmation again that they plan on fully releasing a quarter arcade version of Space Invaders with an actual mirror image you know it's not just an lcd screen and a sticker on front they're actually going to make sure it has the mirror and the displays just like it would in the original arcade cabinet next up we've got a, an image of you know what appears to be an animal and if again if you're an arcade nut you can pretty much understand what this is this is from zookeeper so i'll show you the example right there another taito classic arcade game we got the lion there matches up perfectly zookeeper came out in 1982 uh, it's got that silhouette from Taito's arcade lineup. So what you're going to see, this type of thing, you're going to see, you know, your Zookeeper art here on the side, but you're going to see that same body style of the other Taito arcade cabinets that we've already kind of seen on Bubble Bobble, and you'll see moving forward. Next up, we have another image that stumped a couple of people initially with the original one, but once you get it up there, it is in fact Turtles in Time. 1991 again the sequel to the original arcade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game and this one is a no-brainer I mean if they're already gonna make a dedicated cabinet for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one why not have a sequel cabinet you get to use the same parts components shell and everything so it just makes sense plus it's a fantastic game so not only are we getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles but we're also getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time which is fantastic and again Pull up the side art there, that way you can really verify it for yourself. You got the pirate ship over here. You know, you got the ominous cityscape with the purple and everything. So yeah, we're getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Next up, we have Space Invaders Part 2, aka Space Invaders Deluxe. This was the sequel to the original Space Invaders and going back to the fact that, you know, hey, you can reuse similar components. It just makes sense. If you're gonna make Space Invaders, 
why not make Space Invaders Part 2? That way you've got two SKUs to sell and you've got, you know, a little bit of upgraded gameplay. Space Invaders Part 2 had a, a different high score, had some interjected cutscenes in between levels and things like that. So, had some nice improvements, so to speak, over the original Space Invaders, but just as iconic and just as memorable in terms of arcade lore and arcade history. And then next up, this image stumped a lot of people, but it's understandable. This is Kix. That's right. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Another Taito cabinet. You're going to see a theme here. A great partnership deal with Taito. So this is essentially what most people are familiar with if you've ever seen a Kix arcade cabinet in the arcades. But what they were really teasing specifically was the bezel art. So the bezel art here, you can see you got your little dot right here. It lines up perfectly over here and voila we're getting kicks now don't yet know when we're going to be getting it but we will be getting it in either 2022 or 2023 again when the official numbskull video comes out we'll have more details i'm sure and then of course we've got the sneaky elevator action not so sneaky because as soon as you see that gun and that art style it's pretty easy to determine they didn't use the marquee again they went back to that bezel similar how they did kicks and as you line them up there, you can see, clear as day, bada bing, bada boom. So elevator action, another great game, a little platforming uh, shooter, so to speak. Literally, you're going through 30 levels as a secret spy, getting off the elevators, running and gunning. Very fun game, classic arcade game, and something I'm excited to see. And this last one, this last little sliver image, this one kind of shocked some people and surprised some people but it looks like we're getting a Pepsi machine of some sorts. Now, if I had to hazard a guess, and again, this is just an absolute guess on my part, is that they're gonna give us a Pepsi machine that doubles as a USB charging machine. So all these quarter scale arcade cabinets are great. They run off USB power and they have an internal battery as well, but to charge them, if you got them all in a row, classic arcade style, and you got them all lined up and you want them all powered simultaneously, well, you're gonna need a power source. And what better power source than a classic Pepsi machine. So this specific Pepsi logo was used from 1973 all the way up to 1991. But these Pepsi machine styles are pretty much what I am accustomed to and what I think most of you are probably accustomed to and likely what we're gonna see the machine look like. It's either gonna be A or B. And I could be wrong on this one, but this is for the most part what most people have probably saw out there in the wild anytime they were in an arcade, a mall, a grocery store, basically anywhere that would have a soda machine, this is what you're probably accustomed to seeing. Either one of these machines, and either way, I'm A-OK -okay with either design. I think they're fantastic. And as you can see, this Pepsi machine right there is nestled next to a Space Invaders machine back there and a claw machine. So it just, it goes hand in hand to have that. And it really makes it really cool to be able to build out like a full-on mini arcade diorama. And it just adds a little extra depth to the already awesome lineup. And that wraps it up for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what machine or machines you're most eagerly anticipating from this tease lineup. And keep an eye out for the official announcement video coming from Numskull very soon. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.